State tax withholdings are a complex payroll topic because the rules for these withholdings differ from state to state. In addition to state tax withholdings, some states have local and city taxes as well. In this video, we'll discuss state and local tax withholdings and how payroll accountants go about calculating the withholdings. Many states except Alaska, Florida, Nevada, New Hampshire, South Dakota, Texas, Tennessee, Washington, and Wyoming apply taxes in addition to federal income tax, Social Security, and Medicare. And New Hampshire does not charge a payroll tax, but assesses taxes on dividends and investments. All states except for the nine I just mentioned withhold income tax from their employees and many apply other taxes as well. For instance, employees in the state of California pay state disability insurance SDI of 1.1% of gross pay to a maximum wage of 153,164 in 2023, in addition to the personal income tax PIT for this, uh, that the state levies. For 2024, the SDI withholding rate increases to 1.1% with no tax for wage limit and maximum withholding for each employee subject to SDI contributions. This is a significant increase in taxes for those earning more than $150,000 with no increase in the maximum weekly benefit. However, those that earn less than the average weekly wage will now receive higher benefits, up to 90% in 2025. Like federal income tax, California's PIT amounts vary by income level, pay frequency, and marital status. California also offers both the wage bracket and the percentage method of determining the PIT amount due. In contrast, Pennsylvania charges a flat rate of 3.07% on all employees for its state uh, withholding tax. You can find additional state income tax information in Appendix D of your textbook. California's highest income tax rate is 14.63% for wages above $1 million for single taxpayers and $1.35 million for married taxpayers. If a company operates in more than one state, it becomes increasingly complex to decipher state income tax requirements. Some states require the collection and remittance of income taxes based upon all wages earned within their state. For, for example, if a paper mill worker who lives in Florida is stationed at a Georgia location, the employer could be required to remit the employees um, income taxes in Georgia. Entertainment employees such as actors have state tax withheld for each location they shoot a movie in. Another mandatory tax is local income tax and payroll accounts need to be aware of any local taxes that apply to their business. The local income tax is applied after any pre-tax deductions. Let's look at a few examples of calculating the net pay when state income tax is being withheld. Our first example is for Angel, who receives a salary of $850 per week at his job in Joliet, Illinois. Angel is married filing jointly. Box 2 is not checked with one dependent under 17 and is paid weekly. We will use the wage bracket table in Appendix C to determine the federal income tax. The, he has a pre-tax deduction of $50 for insurance and $50 for the 401k. So let's calculate his net pay together. We'll start with the period wage of $850 and next calculate the federal and state taxable wages by subtracting the 401k and insurance contributions of $50 each from the period wage for $750. This is the amount we will use to calculate the federal and state income tax withholdings. Now we'll use the federal taxable wages to look up the preliminary tax withholdings in the wage bracket table. Be sure to use the weekly 
payroll um, tax table and find the correct row that includes the wage of $750. For Angel, who is married filing jointly, it is the standard withholding because he did not check box two on the form W-4. The amount is $22, but that's not the final amount yet, though. Uh, Angel also gets a credit for having one dependent under 17. Each dependent under 17 is worth $2,000 uh, annually. So, so we divide that amount by 52 for the weekly amount of $38.46, which brings the tax withholdings to zero. Next, we'll calculate the FICA taxable wages by subtracting the pre-tax insurance of $50 from the period wages to arrive at $800. We multiply the $800 by 7.65%, uh, or can also separately calculate the Social Security and Medicare taxes for a total of $61.20. What's the next step? Um, the next step is to calculate the state taxes. The wage base for state taxes is the same as the federal wage base. So that's $750, which we multiply by 4.95% for Illinois. The only thing left to do is calculate the net pay by taking the gross pay and subtracting all withholdings and deductions, including the 401k and insurance, for a net amount of $651.67. The second example is for Elijah, who is a full-time employee in Chicago, Illinois who earns $4,420 per month and is paid semi-monthly. She's married filing jointly with one dependent under 17 and has indicated step two checkbox withholding. She has a qualified health insurance deduction of $50 per pay period and contributes 3% to her 401k, both of which are pre-tax deductions. Her additional withholding amount for step two is $150.75. The Illinois state income tax is 4.95%. What is her net pay? We'll start with a period wage by dividing the monthly wage by two to arrive at $2,210 for the semi-monthly wage, and then next calculate the federal and state taxable wages by subtracting the 401k um, contribution of 6630, which is 3% of 2,210, and insurance contributions of $50 each from the period wage for a total of 2,093.70. This is the amount we will use to calculate the federal and state income tax withholdings. We then look up the amount of 2,093 in the semi-monthly tax table. Find the correct row for the wage and the correct column for married filing jointly with checkbox two on form W-4 checked. The amount is $173. We now calculate the credit amount for the dependent exemption, which is $2,000 divided by 24 for semi-monthly payroll and come up with a credit of $83.33, which gives us a net amount of $89.67. We then add the additional tax withholdings for step two of the form W-4 of 150.75 for a total of $240.42. Next, we calculate the FICA taxable wages by subtracting the pre-tax insurance contributions of $50 from the period wages to arrive at 2,160. We multiply the 2,160 by 7.65%, or can also separately calculate the Social Security and Medicare taxes for a total of $165.24. For the state tax withholding, we multiply 2,093.70 by 4.95% to arrive at 10364. All that we then have left to do is subtract the 401k and the insurance contributions for net pay of $1,584.40.